It's Monday morning and we're on episode 25 of the Dagger Girl Diaries. How we're on episode 25 already, I'll never know. It's the, the year's just flying past. So this morning I'm in the office, which I've taken over with all of my um, my merch. Um, thank you again to everyone who keeps buying it. I really, really appreciate it. The link will be in the description if you want to buy more. This morning I am doing a bit return for Underwood Plant and doing some of my own stuff. On Thursday I am going to be going down to Leeds area um, to operate my biggest machine to, day, to date and I am so excited for it. It's a trip down with Hyundai and Molson's so it is going to be amazing so make sure you stay tuned for this because I am so nervous but super excited for it. Filming. Typical summer holidays here in Scotland. As soon as it's good, kids go on holiday, it starts raining. So I'm just going to go back into the office and do a little bit more. It's Tuesday morning. I'm just in the office quickly this morning, um, finishing off some bits and bobs that I didn't get done yesterday. It is a nice day out there today, so the film that I didn't get to do yesterday, I'm going to finish today. I am meeting a guy at the site where my digger is to show me what he's wanting done this afternoon. And then I've just had a call to say that 85 Kubota is getting delivered now in the next hour. So thankfully they've organised it all and it's getting delivered right to the yard. So I'll head along there and get that unloaded and see it all. I'm really excited to um, have it and get a proper go on it. Give you a lot of view and again compare it to like I did with the 6 ton review compare it to the 57 older model. I can do this again because right now I'm on the older model so it'd be good to compare it to the new one and I'm so excited if it's anything like the 6 ton it's going to be amazing. So here it is the new KX85-5 it's absolutely minted machine. However, <laughs> another bonus for me is it's got a brand new roto tilt with it. Now I can work the machine absolutely fine. I can't work the roto tilt, I can, but it's got the full quick oil thing. So I need to one, suss that out, and two, the tilt eight is the wrong way from what I'm used to. So it's just like mind blown to me just now. Um, so very lucky we've got the whacker plate with it and we have this grab with it also so i need to try and figure out how to change the tilty round again which i have instructions off my on my phone from roto tilt from my own machine so i'll just look back and remember how to do that um there's also the grading beam what you would have seen last week as well to go with the machine so look at it it's absolutely minted can't wait to get it to work there really is nothing like a brand new machine. The smell of it, the cleanliness, the newness. So those of you that don't know, I had a walk around this exact machine at Plantworks. Um, they told me all about it and I said I was going to try and bag myself a demo and then um, my dream came through, I bagged myself a demo of it. Um, so it went from Plantworks to the Royal Helen Show Went and got the roto till um, altered to quick oil and then it got delivered to me there. I'm super excited to get it to work, I tell ya. I'm gonna put this stuff up here then figure out how to change the till round because that is just mind blown having the wrong way now. I am actually so happy just now. Can't believe I've been given this opportunity to give this brand new machine a demo, honestly. I pinch myself every time these things happen. There we go, I just had to call a text. Um, Jake from Rototilt, he's the one who fit, he didn't fit this one, he fitted like mine, he worked for Rototilt. He's amazing, like he's literally amazing. If you just text him, he'll phone you straight away and tell you, fix your problems, help you out, point you the right direction. So I text him saying, hi Jake, got this new machine, rollers are the wrong way around for me, can you help me? Phone me straight away and talk me through it. And he was that well organised when he set it up. Like, so he done the initial fitting, but he didn't do the, the rest of the fitting. Um, so he put on here, um, users one, two, three, and four. So whoever there's a setup for literally everybody who's going to get a shot on it as a demo. We just come on. I'm on user user three. So if, if I put the tilt left, the bucket goes right. 
another way about it. It's not the way that most people do it, but it's the way I'm used to it now, so it's the way I like it. Um, tilt's still the same. Everything's the same as mine. The claw is for the bag here, and the grab and the whack plate used on this roller here. And then the same with the tilt and the normal, what you're used to from watching my stuff. Right, I just met the um, architect there. Um, so he showed me where the boundary is, where the house is going and the height I'm going to. So that's all I need to know for getting started up there. Um, so I'll be back down here tomorrow. There's a digger just, I don't know if you can see, just in the distance there. Oh, it's gone up buddy. Yeah, just in the distance there. So that's Tubby, he actually used to work with us. Um, so it was a long get a wee blether with him, a wee catch up. Um, it's good like 90%, there's probably like 1% of operators around here who doesn't get on with us and that's just down to jealousy. But everyone else gets on good with us, which is good. So I was I long talking to um, Tubby and he's in the house site as well. So yeah, we're both, <laughs> both um, very close to each other. So, So I had the guy on the phone for the water supply as well. We're going to there and start to get that finished again. There's hassle there as well. Um, and where else? Aye, right, that's about it really. So hopefully you'll actually see me doing some digging tomorrow before I go away tomorrow night for Thursday for that very exciting machine I'm going to get a go on. So yeah, see you guys tomorrow. It's Wednesday morning. Now, I know things have been a little bit boring up until now, but this is where the fun is going to begin from now. So if you're still watching, thank you so much for continuing watching and stay tuned for this site to get start getting stripped. Um, I met with them yesterday, so I know everything that's happening now. So I'm going to start that today. I am going to finish a little bit earlier because I am going to see my kiddies quickly, get some lunch with them before I head down to Leeds for my big surprise in the machine tomorrow. So yeah, stay tuned for that because um, I can't wait to show you. I do have a six hour drive from my house down to there. So we're driving down, going to leave about dinner time tonight. This is the drawings for the house. Here, can't show you, but I know what I'm doing now. Put it that way. Love a good drawing. Let's go. So the first thing that we do when we're stripping a house site is to strip all the soil off. It um, doesn't matter what height it is, it's all coming off and put to the side. Now I'm saying soil, there's stumps and everything in amongst this, roots. So I'm trying to put the stumps to one side and the soil, okay, there's going to be roots to the soil, but this is what I'm dealing with. We want to get it down to the hard, so this is material starting to change here, it's starting to change colour into better material. So soil will be off and then we'll see what we're dealing with after that. So all that's really involved in this is casting, casting, and casting <laughs> the soil down the hill. I am sitting really high up here just now. Um, as you can probably see how low that is down there. Um, so it's a bit of a nightmare having to throw the soil all the way down there, but it is what it is, we'll get there. We'll get there soon. That's me all done at the job for today. I'll be back on Friday. As you can see, I've stripped all the soil off. It's all here. It still needs to get moved back over there just now for storing. Um, that's where the garage will be eventually, but it's going to get used for soil storage just now. The road will come up in where them trees are and up into the site here, which will get levelled off. So yeah, let's go home, see the kids and get down the road. So exciting. 
So I'm well underway now. I have about two and a half, three hours to go. Um, just stopped at Glasgow to get some fuel and get some food, some monster and some water because I'll probably need it the further on I get down. Um, but yeah, sometimes I don't mind a wee drive like this, get the music played in. Um, had a good phone with Mal there from Rototil. He phoned me to see if I got that machine yet. It's obviously got the um, quick change on it where his mind does it. So we just asked him if I was alright like that and if I had any questions. And just having a general like catch up. It's nice that I can do that with the brands that I work with as well. They're really decent people. So just chatting away about family and everything. So that passed a bit of time as well. So yeah. Another few hours to go yet. There it is. Welcome to England. That's me on the wrong side of the border now. Only kidding, I don't mind my grandpa's English. <laughs> Just a bit of fun. That's me finally arrived, it wasn't too bad to be honest. It is just about 10 o'clock and that is my bedtime so I timed it very well. I'm going to get to bed straight away, I was going to do some editing and stuff but I'm up early in the morning, I've got a full day shooting tomorrow so I want to be looking my brightest, my best and be concentrated. When I came in I went past where I'm going and it's right next to Euro Auctions and the amount of stuff in there and I'm only seeing a fraction of it by the road but there's so much. That's not where I'm going, I'm going to a power station actually. So yeah, I'm going to get my beauty sleep, I'll see you tomorrow. It's Thursday morning, it's just back at seven. Let's go meet the team and see what I'm up to today. already I'm down at DSM um, down at Edinburgh Power Station the demolition company and I am currently sitting in a 90 ton Hyundai excavator what like the tracks are the same size as my head look at the bucket so I'm actually gonna get a go on loading the dump truck <laughs> uh, that'll be fun <laughs> Thanks to DSM for letting, allowing us down here and a massive thanks to Hyundai and Molson for making this happen. I would never ever get an opportunity like this to come down here so I really appreciate it from all three and everyone involved. It's actually really like just any other digger apart from you don't realise how big the bucket is to fill the dumper. Um, there's there's loads, you can get loads in that bucket compared to a 9 ton digger, 8 ton digger. So another um, 900's just came down next to me. Um, with a pecker on it, so I'm going to go and have a shot of that. There's me! These big... 900, HX900s do actually have um, Scania engines in them, so of course it's all <laughs> a little bit of me. <laughs> so this whole area was um, a power station, a power station. Over the last two years they've been obviously de demolishing it, um, doing it in different sections. This was the old um, cooling towers, that's why they had to do the bigger machines, the Hyundai's in to do that, um, and this is the two biggest machines on site. That's my day come to an end here at Ebra. Um, thanks so much to DSM who 
allowed us the opportunity to come down here and as always thank you to Hyundai for having me and Walsons as well everyone for organising it um, such good fun getting it going the bigger machines rather than be Tonka toys as some people say um, so yeah now for the five and a half six hour drive back up the road we'll see you guys tomorrow back in my Kubota in my homeland <laughs> It's Friday morning and I've just arrived back in sight with my digger just up the hill there. I got home last night about 10 o'clock. It wasn't too bad, um, but it still was a uh, 12 hour drive, full day shooting in just over 24 hours. So I am a wee bit knackered from it, but I've got to get back to work. Um, the people who own the site are coming down today to see me, so it'll be good to meet them. And yeah, I'm just going to cast away, dig away and see how I get on. Everything's just going to be turned to absolute mush because of the rain. But the show must go on. <laughs> I actually had such a good day yesterday. It was, well, I was going to say once in a lifetime opportunity, but I have been invited back down whenever I want to go and go in any of the other machines there. So that was really kind of them. But back to reality with a bang, but at least it's Friday. I'm saying that, but I'm working on Saturday anyway. <laughs> so what I want to be doing is all that soil that the machine is sitting on cast it over to that corner and that'll probably take me all of the day with this wing machine but the hard is up there so that's good That is me all done for the day. So I cleared all, there's a wee bit of soil left there, but most of it went over there and some of it went here as well. The road's going where them trees are, them branches. So the next job is to get them branches um, chipped and out the way. What a workout that was, that absolutely killed me. That's me all done for today. I'm gonna to do some work on the laptop now, do a few more steps, take dips out again, and then chill. So I'm working tomorrow. So see you guys tomorrow. Morning, it is Saturday morning. I'm just out, I'm doing a 10K run, 5K, and I'm walking 5K back, because there's no way I can run 10K just now. But look at one of these views we get. It's really early. It's just gone in the back of seven. There's no one about, the birds are tweeting, and look at this view. This is just one of the views on my doorstep. The island's right in the distance there. <clears throat> it's such a beautiful day. There's actually a weather warning in place for today, but it feels like I'm on holiday. It's so warm, it's so nice, and it's sunny. Oh, perfect working day. Look who I found right. for a Saturday shift. Not like that. And look what he took with him. This new machine. <laughs> Are you in it today? No. I just it. It's got a tidy paint job. <laughs> Our machine's um, down and higher, so Graham's just taking his along to do this bit along here. And I'm that good. I even bought them bacon rolls. No, you're not the one. And monster. That's just so you put a shift in. <laughs> Keep you fed. <laughs> so we've got Graham and Dad with us today to try and get this done. Dad's got, I don't know who's got the shortest straw. Graham and the machine having to dig around this or Dad and the shovel. So we're hoping we can just find old pipe here and then push it through the old pipe. It's so much easier than having to dig it all. Oh. 
throw. Nearly in the track. We ended up having to dig a track to put the pipes in, so it's all done. It's Graham's just back falling it now. So many roots and rubbish in there. But we've done it without bursting any pipes or cables or anything, so that's a bonus. Now we're going to deliver the big the digger here to Graham's next job. Another mm -hmm. job for you. Great, I'll get all the good ones. I'll buy you a beer. Three. Three. <laughs> Three. You've worked hard since a Saturday. <laughs> That's the machine all dropped off. I'm back at the laptop doing my YouTube videos. <laughs> but that is my week over for another week. As always, thank you guys for your likes, comments, subscribing and coming back each week to watch them. I really, really do appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Dipper. Say hi. You don't have to jump up with me. Just say hi. Cheers. What did you do? Colour up you. Somebody jumped in the puddle, didn't you, Dipper? <laughs> That's why he's in the back.